Welcome back to another video guys. Now this video is going to be kind of a part two to my previous Bing ads video and this is going to be focused on Pinterest ads. Now essentially I have been breaking down in the last couple of videos extra ways I'm generating revenue for my businesses and that's just not focusing on Google ads. As you know Google and Facebook for me are the main two traffic and revenue drivers for my business. But I still have a few other traffic sources running pretty much by themselves in the background that do generate me a very very good return on ad spend. Now, just before we jump into the video, if you want to work with my Google Ads agency, I'll leave a link at the top of the description for that. Please bear in mind, you must have a minimum of $100 a day ad spend, and you must also have an approved Google Merchant Center account. Those are pretty much the only two requirements you must meet to work with us. Our team has recently expanded, so we are taking on a few new clients at the moment. It's the top of the description if you want to work with us. Now, today's video might be a bit shorter than normal because it is actually quite quite simple. Some of you, or I reckon most of you actually watching have never even attempted Pinterest ads. Now, I've dabbled with it probably for the last two or three years or so. Only recently, over the last year, have I found consistency with it. And similar to Bing, I literally spend about 15 minutes every single month just looking at the account and making changes. In terms of ad spend, it is roughly only around $50 a day. But at the time of making this video, the last week or two particularly, I am seeing an increase in sales from Pinterest. So I am I'm gonna to begin to scale this further. The ideal goal with this is to achieve around $100, $200 a day ad spend whilst maintaining a very good ROAS. And as you saw by the title and the thumbnail, this year I've pretty much reached a five ROAS with Pinterest. Now, looking at your screen now, this is the reporting dashboard for my Pinterest ads. Now, you can see up here, we've got this year selected, so 2023. I have three active campaigns, I'm keeping it simple. And the total average ROAS across the three is 4.85, so just below a five, but you can see two of the campaigns are over a six ROAS, which is very, very profitable, especially when my break-even ROAS is around a 1.6. Now, I know I'm blurring out these campaign names, but just to give a bit of context on the structure of them, this first campaign is for a high-ticket product. This second campaign is the same high-ticket product, but a campaign where I only use video ads. And this one here is a much lower-ticket item that sells for around $40. Now, clearly, the video ads campaign is the worst performing, but it's still a profitable ROAS, so that's why I've kept it on. So it's interesting to see the split between the two. They pretty much share the same daily budget, but the campaign that only uses image ads is getting over a six ROAS. Now, obviously, I only have experience with certain types of products on Pinterest. There's no reason why most types of products can't work on Pinterest. So my suggestion essentially is just give it a go, small budget. You'll never know until you try it. Now, I'm gonna go through the campaign creation process in this video just because that will be the easiest way to outline my strategy at each step of the campaign creation process. So first thing you want to do, obviously hit create campaign here. And very briefly, if you don't have a Pinterest ad account, you can literally make one in a few minutes. And then all you need to do is verify your domain with Shopify, link it to Pinterest, same way you basically do with Google and things like that. And you'll also want to install the tracking tag as well. They do have a detailed guide on it. It's very simple. But again, if you're struggling with that, just message a developer on Fiverr and they'll sort that out for you. Now, this is the first screen you're gonna see here. Obviously, we wanna be selecting conversions as our goal. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, some brand new Pinterest accounts may not allow you to select conversions as a goal, and it may prompt you or only allow you to do things like consideration or brand awareness. But if you can do conversions, please do it. If not, you may have to run these for a little while just to get a few orders in and then they'll allow you to run a conversion campaign. Now campaign name, I like to just call it the product and then the type of ads we're gonna be using. And with Pinterest, I do split them between image and video ads in separate campaigns. So we're just gonna go gym leggings image ads obviously just an example for this video next up campaign status active daily budget rather than a lifetime budget because if you're running lifetime once that's reached its spend it will just turn off we don't want that we want a continuous daily budget at the moment i am spending around 50 pounds 50 dollars a day on pinterest split between the three campaigns so it is about 15 quid um every campaign you can even start testing with pinterest literally with five dollars because you'll get a good amount of traffic from that so we're just going to go with five i obviously recommend with all other platforms the more you spend the more data you're going to get to work with and the quicker hopefully things will optimize for you now campaign schedule you want it to run continuously you don't want it to pause and 
certain days or times. Hit next. Now this is probably the most important stage of the campaign and it is the ad group details, kind of like a Facebook ad set. Usually here, I literally just name it the targeting option we're using. So if we do, let's do fitness for example as the target for this video. Now you wanna select the middle option here out of these three. You wanna be finding new customers because that is the ultimate goal here. Now these are the targeting options where you can either target keywords or interests. I have tested keyword targeting, something that's never really worked for me. Feel free to test it yourself, but for me personally, I have one interest per ad group, and if we research fitness, I assume that's an interest. Uh, yeah, so fitness and exercises will be our target in here. And you can see a potential audience size of around 1.2 to 1.4 million. I leave expanded targeting on, and pretty much is as simple as that. The next box is demographics. Obviously, you wanna be targeting the main country of your business. So obviously, in this case, it would be United States, which is obviously US down here. And you can see a drastic jump in audience size from the UK to the USA. I leave genders the same. I leave ages, default languages. If you're targeting European countries, then you can change the language. But for English speaking countries, I just leave it the same. And a little pointer, Pinterest, apparently from what I've seen from other people, works really well in countries like Germany and the Netherlands as well. So definitely give that a try if you're already selling in those countries. Placement and tracking, I just leave this as all. Uh, again, this is something you can split test and perhaps when you do start to scale, test these sort of things in a bit more detail with a bit more ad spend because you may find you get a lot better return from you know browse and you might get a better return from search. But to begin with, I keep it on all. Now optimize optimization and delivery. I think this is another area with brand new accounts. It will only let you do add to basket. Once you get a few sales, you can then optimize for checkouts, which is, you know, another word for purchases or orders. So if you can optimize for checkout, if you can't just run add to basket, and then hopefully once you have a couple of orders come in and the, you know, the Pinterest tag fires at checkout, they'll allow you to use this optimization strategy here. Bidding automatic, again, I don't really mess with manual bidding on Pinterest. Then the final step is gonna be the creation of your ads. Now you can create a pin directly from their ad creation screen, which is very handy. Uh, you click create pin and essentially what you need, you need your pin, you need your image, you need your title, description, and the destination link obviously being your website. If you need inspiration for ideas, just go onto the home feed of Pinterest, search your category, your niche, and you'll see other promoted pins from competitors. Model your own off them because likelihood is they're spending money on an ad. It's probably working to some extent. Now I've obviously just gone into the home feed and searched gym leggings here, and you can see promoted pin by Nike here. Very simple, nice clean white background, clearly showing the product here, the, the name, the price, a little, you know a little offer as well free delivery and returns another one here you got john lewis you got an ad here and again down here you've got nike jd and things like that so if you're struggling for inspiration like i've just done i've just searched gym leggings on the home page of pinterest and you can then start to see what types of ads people are already running if you don't have experience with graphics you can use something like canva to make an ad or if you really lack creativity just message a graphic designer on fiverr they'll probably make you a pin for about five dollars and you don't need to test so many at one go if you can test two ads at the start that's more than enough because you're testing two against each other one will perform better than the other and then you can start cycling in new ads once you see which ones are performing bad and then you chuck a new ad in to test as well so anyway once you've added your pin to your campaign you click publish let it run it is as simple as that now key important things to remember get your conversion tracking set up before you even run ads because pinterest takes a long time to optimize the conversion tracking really is actually quite a appalling on Pinterest, but it needs as much help as it can get. So making sure your conversion tracking is set up correctly is very important. Like I said, I ran Pinterest probably for about a year or two with not really much success, but you can see from the results I shared at the start, we are getting somewhere finally in 2023. You know, if you're running Facebook ads, why not use your Facebook video as a Pinterest ad or your Facebook image ad as a Pinterest ad? Odds are, if it's working well on Facebook, it's gonna probably work well on Pinterest as well. And just another example of performance, I've filtered this to yesterday, you know, 45 pounds spent, you can see this campaign here here, two conversions, one conversion, almost an 18 ROAS on this one yesterday, a five on this. This might not have actually been two sales and this is what I'm talking about with poor conversion tracking. This may have been none, it may have been one sale. I will need to dive deeper into Google Analytics and Shopify to confirm that, but take everything with a pinch of salt because it's never always accurate. It sometimes completely under tracks or it may over track and over attribute you the results for Pinterest. So don't just rely on the data that's being shown to you 
in this graph. Check it on Google Analytics, on Shopify as well, get a better idea of how these ads are performing. And obviously you can see here, CPMs are very low, which is another benefit. You know, £1.47 average CPM for USA is just absolutely insane. You'll never see that on Facebook, that's for sure. So I hope you've enjoyed this very simple breakdown of my Pinterest ad strategy. I probably will do a follow up to this in about six months time when hopefully I'm at a much higher scale with this platform. Again, it's something I just leave running in the background. If you've got a few bucks to spend each day or a few bucks spare each day, should I say, just give it a go. There's no harm in trying and it could be a nice little avenue for your business to generate a little bit of extra money. So that is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.